Hey everybody, Scorpion here. So, um, I finally got my review done on this machine. Uh, overall, I think it's it's a it's a great machine. Uh, I had to have a friend come over and uh, help me get the leveling correct and a couple odds and ends and show me some stuff. Um, but regardless, this is my review on the Snapmaker A350. Um, any questions or anything, feel free to hit me up. If I can't find the answer, I'll try to get it for you. Um, also, if y'all throw in the in the comments, um, if you would enjoy watching stuff being 3D printed, I could do it like on Fridays or Saturday nights or something, and and just let it live stream uh, while something's 3D printing or whatever. So if you need something 3D printed, let me know. Um, I've got some pretty good ideas that may be coming up before long. This is Silver Scorpion, <clears throat> so I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing, something that I ordered, and uh, let y'all know what I think about it. We'll be back. So to start off with, this thing comes packaged really good. You cut three straps, the top slides right off, you find another box that's closed that you have to... Uh, cut open so it's packaged well um, definitely protected good and all so I'm gonna dig around in the box here and uh, see what all we got so you pull your little book out here snapmaker a350 quick start guide <clears throat> Pull your foam off the top, and then this is what you're looking at. So let's see what all it consists of. So I pulled the five linear models out, uh, linear models, and this is what's below that. So as I said, it's packaged really good. Got a touch screen controller, tool heads, tools and accessories, 3D printing filament, and a power module. So as you can see here, I took that stack out, or that layer. And there's your last layer. It's your, uh, I believe it's three different work platforms, adapters and brackets and uh, cables so let's see how bad this bad boy is to put together so underneath the uh, work platforms was one more thing and it just says snap maker so I'm gonna start opening this stuff up and getting it ready and uh, see how long it takes me to put it together I know she like it cause There it is. Um, took me about two hours to put the platform together because, well, nothing is really, uh, nothing comes assembled. But uh, it's a pretty amazing piece of machinery. It's well built, well thought out. There's a couple things I ran into here and there between the instructions and in the book and the uh, instruction video they send you to took me a second to figure out um, I'm not gonna say there's any design flaws that I've found so far uh, maybe a couple small things that could be adjusted and made to work a, a little bit easier um, as far as putting it together but uh, 
there's a snap maker brand new out of the box took me another 10-15 minutes to put the uh, get it set up to do 3d printing and uh, it's uh, 5 a.m. so about two two and a half hours so it's uh, it's ready I gotta go into get the software set up and all that so I can use it and I will bring y'all back for more once I get ready all right so here it is all put together uh, only thing I've done at this point turned it on <clears throat> it comes up ask you for information if you want to connect it to your internet or your Wi-Fi in the residence or business whatever uh, you put that in you get to name it whatever you want uh, I named it scorpion metals because um, it'll be used for me pouring metal um, you look around little uh, container like this that was in there it's got your calibration card um, once you get that set up it asks you if you're ready for it to auto level you hit yes it does an automatic auto level it hits every point you know going across there comes back to here and auto levels to the middle and then it stays <coughs> Then you have to set your Z axis to make sure you got the right distance between the print head and the bed. All you got to do is take this little piece of paper. Well, actually, it's not a piece of paper. Uh, it come in the card or in a package. You set it on there. You let it down until you feel resistance on the when you're trying to move it. And when you push, it'll actually bow up like this. That tells you you've got the right distance. You hit save. And that's basically it. It's, it's leveled and, and ready to go. So I think I showed y'all before, this is the uh, toolbox, this label toolbox that comes with it. All kinds of tools in here. Um, everything is like packaged separate. All the screws are in here for putting it together. Uh, all the stuff to be able to switch from the print to the CNC and to the laser all the tools have little tip little things on the tips and all it tells you what tool to use for what step-by-step -step directions which is always really nice especially if you've never done this before like me I've never had one of these I have a tendency to start at the top not the bottom so this is how your PLA comes in rip her open slide her out <clears throat> pull the tape off if you can get a hold of it like so And then directions say take the pliers that they gave you, cut the end off, load this here, bring it down here, push it down until it stops, and hit next. Please set up the nozzle temperature before changing filament. The nozzle will be heated up to 200 degrees Celsius by default. Not sure if you can hear that cut on. So down here in the bottom, you can see the temperature changing. It's counting up to 200.
now 135. So I stuck a piece of plastic down there just basically because I like to make a mess. Yeah, that's just me. <laughs> so instead of getting stuff all over the heated bed, you know. <clears throat> and this thing does come with heated bed. Um, it also peels off. So you can get your your product off of there easy. Little, I call it a spatula is there too if you want to slide it up underneath whatever. Put the heated beds to make the PLA stick to it better when it starts. And being able to pop the whole thing off when it's done and just bend it and it pops right off of there. So we're sitting 197. So you got two ways of doing it. This says push it in there too. You can feel the motor catch it and then let it pull it the rest of the way down. Um, hit done once it's once it's done. You have an unload and a load both on the on the screen. Being that it's detachable, I can probably bring it up here so you can see it. This is all touch screen. Um, you set it up to your Wi-Fi in your house and you send everything from your computer to the printer via Wi-Fi. Or you can put it on a thumb drive, which they send you a thumb drive and it goes in right here and it automatically picks it up and loads it that way. So that's your different different ways of sending stuff from the computer to the machine. Uh, I believe you can also plug straight to it too if you want. So we hit 200 degrees, a little bit of pressure down, hit load. I can feel it. It's pulling it a little bit. Says once you see it coming out the bottom, you hit done. It says you've successfully completed the initial setup for 3D printing. Now you can prepare the G code file using SnapMaker to start printing. So then it says take the pliers, uh, tweezers, pull everything off the head there, and she's ready. So the machine's ready now. Now I gotta get the computer ready. All right, so I, I skipped this before, so I'm gonna go. I'm going back to show it now. Uh, this is your auto uh, calibrating the bed. Auto leveling 100% does it itself. It's it's great. If you get one that doesn't, then you're left dealing with turning screws underneath the corners trying to get it done and that kind of thing and it's uh that can be a pain Hands free, woohoo! So that makes everything so easy. So the machine figures out where the points are on the bed. So when it prints, it prints everything like it's supposed to be. And you don't have to sit in here and keep tweaking stuff, trying to get everything perfectly level and all that. It, it does it for you. So it's about halfway. It's got a couple points left. <clears throat>
right, so that's this last point. And it drops off there to the center. And I want you to find the uh, Z axis, that's what this is for. So you put it underneath there, keep tapping down until you start feeling it drag. Right there, I can feel it start to drag. So that should be it, and normally that's gonna, yeah, see it's down too far. So, yeah, I can feel it there, and normally your card's gonna bubble up when you push back. So, if you hit save. That has it set at the right spot so when it press when it squeezes this out through the head onto here it makes a perfect little bead and it doesn't it's not too high or too flat or anything like that all right let's uh load this stuff on the computer so like i said instruction book step by step how to go through it there's videos you can watch too when i was putting it together i had to use a little bit of both um, the video was kind of leaving out a little bit of information and made it kind of tough for me to figure out. Um, this little packet comes like this. This has got your <clears throat> all your information in it. Alright, so this little packet's what had your calibration card in it. Uh, there was two of them in here. And it gives you something to wipe stuff off with. Some plastic to CNC and some wood for CNC or uh, laser. Um, there's a, a web address in the book to download your information from, and that's what I'm going to work on. Sanctioned by the U.S. government, commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. May God be with you all. Type in a web address, brings you up to this. This is your download for 64, download for 32, download for Mac. If you keep going down, it shows you different drivers, configuration files and tool libraries, some firmware, uh, some manuals quick start for the A150, 250, or the A350. I got the 350. Um, tells you about the enclosure. You can purchase that separately. Uh, just so you know. Um, this is some of the videos they ran showing you how to print stuff. And they also have on the market now, there's a CNC edition that goes right here. And it's that it actually it spins your uh, product while the CNC is carving. Uh, that's another add-on that they have. I'm sure they'll be coming out with more stuff. If you click on your add-ons here, it'll probably show all that stuff. There it is, right there. It's called a rotary module. <clears throat> so it's for uh, carving and laser engraving. You've got emergency stop you can purchase and uh, then of course you've got the big enclosure and uh, that just helps keep from dust getting out everywhere it's got a vacuum port in the back so everything that goes in the air it sucks it through and out the vacuum so you can hook up a regular vacuum cleaner or you know whatever uh, keeps the stuff from floating around the room getting everywhere and also when you're laser engraving or CNC in it may give off some gases that you don't particularly want to be breathing in so you can you know if you got it close to a window you can pull it through a shop vac and blow it out the window or whatever so let's go up here and download for 64 
All right, y'all, so this stuff is in Greek to me. It's taking me a while. But basically, uh, it doesn't take about three minutes to download the software from the website. About another minute to install it. Uh, once it's done installing, it drops. Close all this out. Drops you an icon on the desktop here. Which I'm hoping y'all can see, but you may not be able to. Let's see if we can adjust this just a little bit. Um, anyway, here it is. There you go. Sure, your software icon, top left there. Um, so from there, you click on it, open it up, click on your cube here because this is laser, that's 3D printing. You click on that. You can access some stuff down here, 3D printed fabric, you hit load, which I've already done, and here it sits, so the wheel on your mouse zooms in and out, you can grab and drag, spin it, look at the underneath, you know, basically anything you want to do with it to, to make sure it's, it's like you want it to be. Click on the eye here. It recenters it from wherever you have it. Click generate G code. Comes across. Loading. This pops up. Just helping to break it down, showing different stuff. You can load it to your workspace. Alright, so I figured out what was going on. I think y'all can see over here. It's all here at the top. It's, it's like workspace up here. Um, you have to click on that. Click on Wi-Fi. Set this up to what the Wi-Fi is for, you know, the other thing. Hit refresh. Scorpion Metals comes up. I had to fix... A, uh, a download issue on the machine um, it needed an update before it would allow me to find it so if you ever run into an issue and they're not communicating there's a download that needs to be done somewhere so we hit connect so you have to go over here and say yes Okay, machine starts moving, so that lets you know that they are definitely connected. Over here, it's saying disconnect from it if you want. This is the G code that was loaded to workspace. So, I'm assuming, you know what that does, I'm going to send to device via Wi-Fi. And it is working. So you also have export G code. I would believe that would be if you go put it on a thumb drive or something, and you can thumb drive it into the side over there instead of doing it through Wi-Fi if you don't have Wi-Fi in your house or run into some issue. It says file sent successfully. So with that said, we're going to uh, try to print it. All right, so we come over here, file transfer successful, it got it. Preheating down here on the bottom.
y'all can see that shows you what the temperatures are at 27 and 21 so it's preheating everything getting ready all right so once you've sent it over there you disconnect it from the internet apparently it doesn't stay connected all the time uh, you swipe over hit files pick your file and hit start now I'm going to take y'all off of here for a second so y'all can see exactly what we have going on prepare for bumpy ride so it shows you what percentage it's at gives you a choice of stop or pause and at the set work speed looks like it's saying 30 minutes and elapsed time is 44, 45, 46 seconds on the right. Tells you what the heated bed is at, where it needs to be, and what the nozzle temperature is, and where it needs to be. And they're both warming up, so can't seem to hold it straight. So once they get where they're supposed to be, it should take off. All right, so I took a bit of a closer work here. It's just showing you elapsed time from when you told it to start. To the left is showing work speed. It's 30 millimeters a second. Nozzle temp just reached 205, so it's ready. Heat is, heated bed's at 53 of 70 Celsius, so it's still working. Showing full time up here, about 4 hours and 18 minutes to print this uh, test piece. So it will... Uh, definitely take a little while. Hey y'all, Scorpion here. So finally got this up and running. I'll bring y'all in, let y'all see a few different shots of it here and there. But it is going right now doing a test print so we'll be back when it's uh, done what, what percentage is it that they were at? Still up. Yeah. so this says it's at 43 percent Makes everything look like it's in black and white when you turn it on.
We need to go there. It's one of the test prints. That's the first. So now I'm in business. <laughs> 